Hi everyone. Uh, today I want to do hopefully a very quick video. A little while ago I made a couple of videos showing the the nibs on Lamy pens and the the standard sort of ones that go on the Safari and the All Star, and then um, some of the nibs available for the Pilot Metropolitan. Since then I've been asked a couple of times about um, Twisby nibs as I've done a couple of different reviews of Twisby pens and uh, they're one of my favorite brands. So what I thought I'd do today is a quick uh, writing sample with a range of my Twisby pens. Now um, this is just a, a few of the, the ones that I've got but I, I've got pens that range from extra fine through to 1.1 1 .1, uh, all in the sort of the number five nib size and then a medium and a broad in the number six. Um, I've inked them all with the same ink, Lamy Black, so we can hopefully get a pretty fair representation of what these pens uh, look like on the page. Uh, so without further ado, what we'll do is um, we'll start with the Extra Fine, which is in the Twisby Classic here. Um, as I said, these are the Twisby nibs are made by Yovo and they're fabulous nibs. Um, across the board of with the Precision and the Minivac and the Vac 700 and the other 580s and things that I've got, these nibs always perform really, really well. Uh, so the reason I've got these ones is uh, the number fives is because they mainly appear in the, uh, the Twisby Eco, which is a fabulous sort of uh, entry level pen. Uh, and I wanted to show uh, the difference in how these pens wrote. And I've got the number six nibs, uh, in the 580s here, just as a comparison, uh, because when I was first starting uh, with Twisby, I wanted to get a better understanding of what the different nib uh, grades would look like from the different pens. So, yeah, let's just see sort of how we go. So we have... So now you can see there, the extra fine here in the Classic is quite a fine um, nib. It's, this is five millimeter grid rule rhodia paper. Uh, so you can see there that the line is incredibly fine. Now we move to the, the Eco, uh, which here has um, the, oh, the fine nib in it. And as I said, this is in the Eco. Um, so yeah, the line is a little a little sort of wider. It's not a huge difference. Um, there is obviously a noticeable difference, and it is a tiny bit wetter uh, than the Classic, uh, but that could be nib to nib. Uh, but the, in terms of the line width, you're not getting a huge variation there. The big change is here into the medium nib, once again on an Eco. So that is a quite a noticeable difference. Um, the just the sheer line width between these pens is, particularly between the fine and the medium, uh, is quite noticeable uh, in the difference. Uh, and as you get into the the wider nib widths, of course, you do get a slightly smoother writing experience. Here in another eco, we have the broad. Now, this really becomes quite uh, quite broad. Once again, this is an eco. So yeah, you can really, really see the difference now. Um, it's quite quite a wet pen uh, and it's got, yeah, it's a great flow and it's very, very smooth. It's actually one of my favorite pens and a pen I use to review ink because it lays down such a generous line. So the pens I've had so far are round nibs. Uh, tipped nibs if you can sort of you know sort of uh, get it. so you can see there ever so slightly that the nib has rounded tipping um, which allows for that um, nice sort of broad smooth round line the next pen uh, that we look at the next nib uh, is once again on the eco it is the 1.1 millimeter and you can see there actually I'll put these two up together uh, so you can see them next to each other just um, 
that you can see the difference there quite apparently uh, when it's in focus. If I can just get it to find it, there we go. It's a bit better. Um, so whereas the the broad there has a nice sort of ball of tipping, the stub nib and it's a stub, not an italic, uh, it, with because it's got sort of rounded corners, is flat uh, and doesn't have any chipping to allow for uh, that sort of rounder line. So what you get uh, is you do get a more um, the flat sort of line uh, with sort of some inbuilt variation. Now, so here you can see very nice thick uh, downstrokes and nice narrow side strokes. This is once again a really lovely stub nib, it's one of my favorite stub nibs. Um, and as I should have said, all of these are number five nibs. So that is a really lovely set of line variation that you can get from the Twispy pens from the extra fine uh, through to the 1.1 stub. Uh, they're beautifully smooth writing pens and just really nice to sort of work with. Now, if I bring up my uh, Diamond 580, I have this with a, a medium nib. This is a number six. Now I'll just bring up the medium for the Eco as well. So you can see uh, the size difference uh, in the nibs there, in the sort of the, just the actual size of the nib. Uh, in terms of the tipping, um, you should get something similar across the two pens. So here, I'll just do a writing sample and then sort of compare the two next to each other. This is in the 580, uh, and it's a number six. So, in comparison to the um, the number five medium, it is a slightly wider line. Now, now this could be pen to pen. Every pen is going to write slightly differently. Um, you're not going to get exactly the same line width across uh, the, the brand. It should be fairly close, but we are going from a number five to a number six there, and it does lay down just a little sort of bit more ink, so that there is, the line is ever so slightly uh, wider on the 580, the number six nib. Now, if we look at the broad um, nibs from the number six, This is a 580, um, and it's an 8L, and once again, this is a number 6 nib. Um, so this nib is wonderfully smooth, generous flow, very, very wet. Like, I'll just do a little, like, we're talking really a very wet uh, pen here. Um, it's lovely to write with. Um, it's got a lovely sort of... Um, yeah, lovely sort of broad tipping on it, and it's a very, very pleasant pen to write with. And if we compare that to the the broad on the Eco, the line is much similar, more similar. In fact, the line here between the medium 580 and the broad in the Eco is not that different. Um, so, yeah, the we get a lovely, a lovely broad on the on the Eco and the 580. Uh, AL. So that was the Twisby pens uh, that I have, the number fives, from extra fine uh, through to 1.1, and then just a couple of the number sixes in my collection, the medium on the 580 and the broad on the 580 AL. These are wonderful nibs, great pens, I adore the Twisby line, um, looking forward to a couple of new editions from Twisby coming out uh, in the near future. And uh, I hope this was uh, useful and helpful just to see sort of what you do um, get with these uh, different uh, pens, uh, nib uh, varieties from Twisby. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, please feel free to drop me a message on any of the platforms listed below. And I, if you have any questions or uh, things you think I should be looking at, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.